Hello Pocket the Packers and uh, Pocket the Community members. I've been trying to make this video for the whole week but I've just been too busy to get it done. So here comes. Uh, this video is about uh, uh, Pocket the Loader and uh, to show you some of the software running on the Pocketo. Uh, by loader I mean that the Pocketo has an SD card slot over here. There's an SD card inside. Right now it's a 2 GB SD card. You can probably use a bigger one if you want. Um, and uh, as you can see there's no connections to any sort of computer. So all the software that we're showing is coming from the SD card. And the Pocket to Loader is, is a bit of a program that loads the games and the software from the SD card to the Pocket to Main Memory. Um, yeah, for today's video I have chosen a clear back with uh, clear buttons and transparent pink front. And I think it looks pretty, pretty good. When you reset the pocket though, there comes a window that says press C for loader for three seconds. Okay, so that comes every time you start the pocket though. You can bypass uh, by pressing A or pressing B if you want. You don't have to look at the window for three seconds. So if you want to go past it, just press a button and you're in the game. Um, however, if you want to go into the loader, you just press C. And this is the loader screen. So, yeah, what this actually is, uh, is this is the contents of the SD card shown here on the screen of the Pocketo. And I've been improving this loader quite a bit and I'm very happy with the way that I'm able to access the directory at the moment because it's, uh, it's very fast as you can see. Okay, but uh, before we do that, let's, um, let's look at a game on the Pocketo. So, um, yeah, uh, this is one of the games that comes with Pocketo. Uh, this is sort of a native game. It has been developed for the Pocketo by me, actually. Um, this is a sort of a survival game where you, um, you try to survive on, on these islands and find gold. And uh, you're able to um, transform the ground. And um, it's actually a, a not as such an easy game. Um, the point of the game is that there's gold hidden in the rocks of the island, uh, but you cannot see it until uh, the night falls. And when the night falls, the, the gold starts flashing. And as you can see, the, the landscape is getting dark. And, uh, and when the landscape gets dark, I can, I can see at times when the, when the gold flashes and when I dig the gold, like that, you can see it says one out of three. So I still have to find two more gold and one more gold. And I see something blinking right there. And uh, I made it. I found three gold. Level two finds six gold. And uh, this is a random generated landscape. And uh, every, every single island is different. And uh, as you proceed, um, the landscape gets more difficult. Um, it gets more difficult to get into the huts um, and things get more dangerous but I don't want to tell you too much about that so let's reset the device and go into the loader for the first time and let's start checking out these uh, cool uh, demos and things that are uh, on the pocket so uh, 3d blobs and I think that was by community member Trelemar. And here you see uh, the loader working. One of the really cool things about the loader is that it's visual. It gives you visual feedback on... on um, um, I came back to the loader just to show it to you again. So when I press load program, unlike in, uh, for example, um, the Game Buino loader, um, this will show you exactly uh, as it is flashing the memory of the chip and uh, it's not very fast yet and we will improve the speed of the flashing uh, but there's a very good reason because at the moment the loader is extremely reliable and I um, and I always think that it's important to focus first on reliability and then you can start improving speed so this is a nice particle effects demo by uh, by Trelemar and I think it's really cool yeah let's look at something else um 
back into the loader so just a couple of clicks and we are right here um, jetpack I think is also by Trelemar load program yes it takes some time to load but yes it's also reliable yes we will try to improve the speed of the loading in in the future but for the moment I'm pretty happy with it so jetpack by Trelemar and it's not really a finished game yet so Trelemar please could you could you please please um, finish this game because it's beginning to look awesome or it's it's already looks awesome I'd really like to get to play this game let's look at something else press C for loader I'm going through this quite fast so that uh, I'm not making this a very very long video so let's look at something else what else um, Squeedy a really good game it's a sort of a puzzle game and I'm sorry I don't remember the names of the authors by by heart I will I will need to check it I will I will put it in the, in the comments of the of the video Squiddy is a, is a sort of a action puzzle game where you where you uh, you need to think but you need to also be fast in the way that you move so yeah so you lost Squiddy excellent game okay so those were native programs on the on the pocket though and uh, not everything has to be a game for example what we have here is a ray tracing program and ray tracing for those who don't know is is uh, is about um, calculating three-dimensional images by calculating uh, the path of light within a scene so this is actually real-time ray tracing on uh, or not real time real time but this is real ray, ray tracing mathematical ray, ray tracing done on uh, on the Bokito. yes and it takes quite a bit of time to get the final image but I think it's a cool demo so those were, were native uh, Pocketo programs um, what Pocketo also has it also has ports of the Game Buino and Ardoboy libraries so for example if we take this uh, game over here and we load it it's uh, Asterox by Yoda and what's what makes this interesting is that this game is actually developed for uh, the Game Buino and uh, I've just ported it here and I've just uh, added some colors to it but uh, yeah it works and uh, which means that we can we can basically run all of the games of the Game Buino on Pocketo which is very nice because there are tens of different games and uh, I'll, I'll be working with the authors authors of those games uh, to port them to um, to Pocketo we also have the Artoboy libraries ported so this is a game by team ARG which you, which you probably know are, are very famous on the on the Artoboy um, device and this is a sort of a puzzle game by them and this is just to show you that uh, that we will also be working with uh, Artoboy game authors to port uh, the best of the Ardoboy games to the Pocketo and uh, let's hope that they are they all um, feel positive about uh, the fact that uh, they can display their um, skills on, on a new platform that is exciting because it has colors and a little bit more power and much more memory and uh, SD card and everything else so thank you very much for watching um, Pocketo is turning out to be a very very interesting device as I promised all of you um, we will be shipping very soon uh, we are expecting the actually the package of uh, PCBs to arrive tomorrow and we will finally get to uh, assemble Pocketos in bulk uh, 